back out of the naturopath from New Zealand. Thanks for coming back. I've got a question here from a subscriber. A goji berry is okay if you're craving sugar. Goji berries, tiny little red berries. I tried to grow these, but they're difficult to grow in New Zealand. So I believe they're a nightshade or they belong to the Solanacea family. Um, incredible food, superfood. So over 20 minerals, high vitamin C. Yep, they're a fantastic food to eat. So can you really get a good effect out of these if you keep eating them, if you crave sugar? Well, let's just put the goji berries aside. My question to the subscriber would be, why do you crave sugar? And if you do crave sugar, don't look at something to substitute it for the sugar necessarily, but think why you crave sugar and how bad you crave sugar and what sources of sugar you're currently consuming, okay? So if you get to the root cause of the problem, you won't need any kind of berry or anything as a substitute. But you can snack on these, not a problem, here or there. But is it gonna be enough to quell the desire for sugar that you have. I would recommend that you look more at taking a multivitamin chromium in it, for example. Chromium picolinate would be a good one to, to take. Maybe 200 micrograms per day. If you're a larger person, you want to take a 500 microgram capsule maybe with your lunch. Uh, B vitamins are also quite intelligent to take if you crave sugar. That should help you significantly give you a boost of energy like the sugar often does. So but also in very slowly over a period of about two to three months, changing your diet and lifestyle, okay? Because people who crave sugar often have got gut kind of issues as well as a result of the sugar. They may carry weight, they have a fatigue or sleeping problems. So these things can all be reversed by slowing your need and desire for sugar by making those very slow incremental diet changes. Many people who crave sugar, for example, don't eat any fruit. Fruit's one of the best forms of natural sugar to eat. But people have got this morbid fear today that eating any kind of fruit will give you a yeast infection. But I can tell you guys, you know, we eat three, four, five pieces of fruit a day that we grow ourselves. No gut issues here. You eat tree ripened stuff, you're gonna have no problem. Just don't go stupid and eat like nine oranges in one day or do things like that. Too much of anything is gonna cause a problem. So goji berries are good, but keep it again to a small quantity and don't just eat these things as a substitute for sugar. As I say, you need to find out why you're craving the sugar and reverse that craving by changing the diet and also changing the lifestyle. So changing the lifestyle meaning look at when you eat sugar and how you eat sugar. And then in those instances, you may wanna make a lifestyle change, do something else instead of going for the sugar, okay? What you'll find initially when you um, have a lesser need for sugar, a lot of things will change, especially your energy levels will become more consistent. You won't have any dips in blood sugar anymore. And uh, yeah, it's well worth doing. All right, thanks for the question.